You probably know that your body runs according to a 24-hour internal body clock called a circadian rhythm. And beyond this, you also have a seven-day rhythm called a circaseptin rhythm. Even animals like beavers, bees, and birds have been shown to live according to a seven-day cycle where they work for six days and rest on the seventh day. During the French Revolution, a metric calendar was introduced with a 10-day week. This produced a cascade of illnesses throughout society. Mental institutions filled up to capacity, workers' efficiency went way down, and crime rates even increased. After 12 years, they had to abandon the revolution's 10-day week and go back to the biblical 7-day week. And during the Communist Revolution, for 11 years, the Soviet Union barely survived Joseph Stalin's five-day week with no weekends. It was a colossal failure because more people stayed away from work due to illnesses. Productivity decreased and the death rates of humans and horses went up. We now know that not only humans and animals, but diverse species from unicellular sea algae to plants, insects to fish, live according to a six-day work, one-day rest week pattern, which speaks to how the Bible says we originated from a common designer who lovingly wanted all creatures to rest for one day out of seven. Evolutionists are baffled because human and insect studies conducted under controlled constant conditions devoid of environmental, social, and other time cues report the persistence of seven-day rhythms. Our Creator programmed in a need to rest on the seventh day, which He called the Sabbath day. So this seven-day cycle is not cultural but biological. It's the way God designed you to live. Jesus said, the Sabbath was made for man, meaning God made the seventh day of the week holy and commanded all mankind to rest because He loves us. See how God always wants the best for you. In the Bible, Deuteronomy chapter 6, verse 24, Moses explains, and the Lord commanded us to do all these statutes for our good always, that he might preserve us alive as we are this day.